properly managing your investments and making the right financial decisions takes time, skill and effort. And it's not just a one-time thing. For now, let's set aside the skills part. We'll get to that in a bit. Time is your most precious commodity and it's the only it's the real currency of real wealth. And there's plenty of things that you could do. Maybe you would like to run a marathon, maybe you'd like to learn a new language, but it doesn't mean that you're going to do it. So in this episode of the Wealth Nation podcast, we're talking about how you should be DIYing your finances. Welcome to the Wealth Nation podcast, a podcast for every mother, daughter, grandmother, sister, and wife, and the men who are smart enough to tune in. The Wealth Nation podcast brings you all you need to know about investments, business, property investments, personal finance, and all around financial wellness. Here is your host, Yolanda Rose. Thanks for joining me today in another episode of the Wealth Nation podcast. I am Yolanda wealth advisor, and it is my goal on this platform and any other content of mine that you consume is to give you the skills and tools that you need to manage your money well and to build generational wealth. So it's been a while since I released a new episode and uh, I know it's no excuse, but I've been crazy busy. The brokerage is phenomenal, right? And we're expanding as well. So that took some downtime, time to prepare time to train new staff and things like that. So from here, things should be uh, smooth sailing. Hopefully, we're holding thumbs for that. But if it's the first time that you're joining us on the Wealth Nation podcast, uh, mail me. It's Yolanda at Financially Fabulous Females. I would love to know what you think about the podcast. Also, leave us a review. And uh, if there's anything specific that you would like me to address on this platform, just drop me a mail or, or leave a review and put your topic down there and I will get to addressing it sometime or the other on this podcast. The Wealth Nation podcast is brought to you by Solomon Wealth Management. Solomon Wealth Management is an innovative team of wealth managers that addresses the entirety of your life, your family, your business, your future, one facet at a time. We use our skill and expertise to the consideration of what you have accumulated and how best to administer it through life's changes. From financial counsel on managing your wealth to careful contemplation of how to transfer it to future generations, it's your vision for your future combined with our skill and expertise to help you reach financial excellence. So if you want to sit with us one-on-one, go to www.solomonwealth.co.za, click on the Get Started button, and we could be chatting one-on-one. So we're talking about DIY finances today. And um, my question is, is it really worth it? I mean, you're a busy, you're a busy somebody, right? A business owner, a working parent, um, career has you on your toes. You have a lot on your plate. And finding the time to research financial questions, evaluate your options and execute a decision takes time. And it's not a one-off exercise as well. It's something that you do continuously, regularly. And even if you could make the time, perhaps you'd rather not if it takes time away from other things that you have to do. Now, personal finance is not everybody's cup of tea, and it doesn't have to be. But if you're neglecting your finances, it's likely worth it to hire a wealth advisor. I mean, time is money, and there's a cost to delaying good financial decisions or prolonging poor ones like keeping too much cash or putting off uh, doing an estate plan. And if you're wondering if you need a financial advisor or if you should do it yourself, consider whether DIY investing and money management is a realistic option. Watch change so you now feel you can devote more time and energy to your investments than you have before. Do it yourself can easily turn into no one does it. We all have a home project or two to prove it. How much of things do you have? How many projects do you have lying around your house that you just did not have the time to get to do? So if you have this endless to-do list and you never quite have the time to tackle your personal finances, you need a wealth advisor. Now, if your strategy of is a blend of winging it and Google, you are not going to be happy. And The reality is you don't know what you don't know. And if you're just Googling for answers to specific questions, how will you know what you didn't miss? We might think that Google knows it all. Trust me when I tell you Google does it. 
So uh, test me on this, right? Go to Google and put in your financial question, whatever it, that may be. Then I want you to open a web browser and go to a search engine called DuckDuckGo and input that same question. And you will see the results are completely different. I have no doubt about that. I use both these search engines for the exact reason um, on how these algorithms work. It's paid ads that get to the top first and maybe your answer is on page 11, the ideal answer that you're looking for. And you're never going to get to it because you're clicking on the first page only. So Google might not be <laughs> the answer to all your problems. Our financial lives are very complex. They are interrelated. And that is why at Solomon Wealth, we cover a wide array of financially related topics. And when you pull one lever on one side, it can have unintended consequences on the other aspect of your life, such as taxes and things like that. And that is what somebody like me knows. I know if you pull a lever here, the ripple effect that it will have on other aspects of your financial life, whether it be now or down the line as well. So how can you be sure that you're going to get the best outcome if you haven't done it before? Often what makes a financial advisor worth it is the ability to keep you on track and proactively identify financial risks and opportunities for you. We value experience in nearly every aspect of your life. Don't discount it when it comes to managing your life savings. Now, if your accounts are scattered across multiple institutions, it's hard to know where you stand financially, particularly if you don't have a saving or an investing strategy. This is another situation where it's probably worth it to get a wealth advisor instead of doing it yourself. For starters, an advisor can help you move and consolidate uh, multiple retirement annuities, for example. Or we could recommend solutions that give you more value than what you're currently get getting, something that you didn't know about because you're not working in this industry every single day. Now, there's a lot that goes into your financial position. Perhaps you're a victim of lifestyle inflation. You know, when you get an increase, you're suddenly spending a lot more than you should be. Or you just don't have a grasp on spending at all. It's really important to know where you stand financially, especially if you're afraid of the answer. During this process, you can discuss developing a cohesive investment strategy and understand how you're tracking towards your goals. Getting organized and building a strategy going forward is a critical step, but it doesn't just end there. People often need help implementing it, and I think that's uh, where the advisor gives you the greatest value, where we're implementing, we're constantly reviewing and overlooking um, what it is that we're, um, what we're doing in order for you to get you to your financial goals. Staying on track with your saving goals goals or revising plans when things need to change and the rules change, especially when it comes to taxes and things in South Africa. One-time financial health checkups typically fail. It's kind of like getting your, your blood pressure, your blood sugar levels tested. You don't only want to do it when there's a problem. You want to regularly have a home testing kit so you're monitoring that and make sure it doesn't get out of hand. And that is what an advisor can do for you. Getting on the right track is the most important first step, unless you're starting to save for retirement. Without ongoing support, recommendations likely sit idly in a desk drawer and changes to your personal financial life keep coming. New laws uh, can easily affect what happens uh, in your financial life, like the recent law on... Uh, well, a whole bunch of them came up, actually. For example, the withdrawal of uh, RAs under 15,000 rand. Previously, that, that amount was around, I think it was 9,000 or so. Now, if you're looking for that empty pockets of money, it's there. It's 15,000 rand. Or the rule about immigration, where you cannot cash in your retirement and pension funds at immigration. It has to be held in the country for a certain amount of time before you can cash out. All of those updates happen, happen annually, and it's your advisor's job to keep, make sure that you are updated. And it's always worth running by your financial advisor before you make a life-changing decision. We have a lot of flexibility to unwinding many decisions we make, but you can't always rely on uh, a take back, especially for major financial decisions. You'll need the tools, experience and the objectivity of a financial advisor um, that they can bring to help you make the best decision the first time because you might not get another chance. And I, you know, when I sit with clients, 
most of my work is done undoing bad financial advice that was done previously. Okay, so if you can get it right the first time, especially the younger you are, the quicker you align yourself to a savvy financial advisor, the better position you're going to be in. Whether you're deciding to retire or take out um, an early retirement package or sell your business, make a lump sum dump into your pension, or, or buying a, a property cash are some examples of major financial decisions that you should be able to run by your financial advisor and get some feedback, get some ideas on how, on the various scenarios that can that can be triggered, and from there you can take a decision. And I think one of the biggest decisions that you can make is taking no action at all. For example, if you if you're um, investing heavily in stocks, but you don't have a plan to sell or di- diversify, or you want to take a, a lump sum withdrawal, and you start triggering all kinds of taxes. Now, this is something a financial advisor can help you do to savvily make withdrawals, stay under the, the thresholds of tax, and keep more of your hard-earned money and profits that you made from investing. A wealth manager can help you quantify the decision understand the impact of a financial decision and how it impacts other areas of your life and assess the alternatives. It's often worth it to build a financial plan to help the decision-making process. So one of the major things that a financial plan can do is to help you make big financial decisions, answer those big uh, life-changing decisions that you need to make, such as paying off your bond early or really aggressively start putting money away into your retirement annuities. But little little did you know that you can make better returns somewhere else and have a a better, a a less of a tax liability as well. Now, there's a lot of reasons investors choose to work with a financial advisor. And one reason is peace of mind that it gives individuals and their families. Now, if busy individuals don't have the time to oversee their investments, it can can become a source of great stress. And perhaps uh, a a retiree is always worrying about overspending or running out of money. And if something does happen to the breadwinner, financial manager of the household, who will be the surviving spouse or the kids, they would turn to the financial advisor for advice. Every day, people decide they need a financial advisor to address these and many more concerns. Worries or disagreements about finance are among the top stresses for individuals and couples alike. So these issues are very real. So are the consequences as well. So getting your finances in order, ensuring your family is cared for, or getting a grasp of your retirement plan can be empowering and liberating. And reducing or removing the source of anxiety can make working with a financial advisor so worth it. So I think one of the big questions um, most people have that haven't worked with advisors is how do advisors get paid? Well, there's many ways they can get paid. Firstly, I want you to go check out my video on YouTube about the truth about uh, insurance in South Africa, where we tell you about the various options, compensation plans that uh, financial advisors undertake. But at Solomon Wealth Management, what we do is basically two portions. One, it's a fee-only service where you sit with us for a fixed fee, dependent on the size of the work that you're going to do. And uh, our rates usually start at around 750 rand an hour at 2021 prices, depending on when you're listening to this podcast. All right. And then we work on your financial plan and you'll get a written document that will basically incorporate the various aspects of of financial planning, estate planning. Uh, We'll touch on taxes just a bit, education planning, investments, risk planning as well. That's a once of fee. And the second second, uh, way is through advice fees and commissions, where if a sale is triggered from the advice that we've given you uh, and you choose to execute your business with us, we will then take a commission that would come from the product provider, uh, indirectly from you, but it's paid by the product provider. Investment-based products, there's a built-in fee depending on the size of the investment that you make, and we can negotiate these fees as well. So those are the the two ways that you can work with us at Solomon Wealth Management. So here's the thing. (laughs) As much as I am a, a praying somebody, but investments and your finances need a little bit more than just thoughts and prayers. If your life savings need more attention than you can provide, it's worth it to get an advisor. And once you decide that you need an advisor, try not to let it sink to the bottom of your list. It may not seem pressing, but life happens and it happens very fast. And we never know 
what changes are on the horizon. And I hate it, you know, when clients reach out to me and something tragic had happened. And if they just call me sometimes hours or even a day earlier, it can be a completely different scenario. So don't wait for the worst to happen before you sit down with an advisor. Okay, have that peace of mind. Uh, align yourself with a financial savvy advisor and, uh, and get your stuff in order. It's so important, especially now we're in a pandemic. You need to get your stuff in order. All right, so that's it for me on this episode of the Wealth Nation podcast. Remember, if you want to reach out, it's Yolanda at Financially Fabulous Females or go to our website at solomonwealth.co.za. Click on that Get Started button and then we could be chatting one-on-one talking about your money and your finances and getting things in order. All right, so that's it for me on this episode of the Wealth Nation podcast. I'll chat to you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to visit our website at www.financiallyfabulousfemales.com and sign up for our free investment masterclass.